I visit different parts of India, but I would like to say one thing, that the training that I impart here at India Islamic Cultural Center is remarkably distinct. It is remarkably distinct <laughs> because of the love and respect Sirasar gives me. It is not my day. It is the day of all the Noblites. We have very wonderful six participants. Uh, most hundreds of Noblites today can come up the days and exhibit their confidence. But we have shortlisted a very few dynamic Noblites who can perform and who can prove the world that in a span of 30 days, they can develop amazing confidence and speak to the world with great fluency. And may I invite the girl who is known for amazing pronunciation, Atika Siddiqui, to come here and deliver a speech. Thank you for the introduction, sir. Assalamu alaikum and a very good evening to all of you. I'm Atika Siddiqui and I'm going to talk about an ideal leader and good governance. The enemies of Islam in Mecca were very cruel. When Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, conquered Mecca, the companions and the followers of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, captured all the enemies and brought them to Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, with slogans. Al Yomu Yomul Malhama, which means it is the day to take revenge upon the enemies. It is the day to tear the enemies apart. It is the day to kill the enemies. The enemies were those people who tortured Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he was in Mecca. The enemies were those people who abused Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, when he was in Mecca. The enemies were those people who compelled Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and his companions to leave Mecca. The enemies were those people who poisoned his food. The enemies were those people who surrounded Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and even tried to assassinate him. And see how our Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, reacted and responded to the slogans of his companions. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Al Yomu Yomul Marhama, which means it is the day to show mercy upon the enemies. It is the day not to torture the enemies. It is the day to forgive the enemies. Such a compassionate and forgiving a leader, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, was. Ladies and gentlemen, when a good and efficient leader dies, his party too dies with him. And it takes decades and decades to emerge such a good leader again in the party. There are numerous reasons why the party dies when a good leader dies. Because the leader does not have confidence in his own team members. There are leaders. The leaders are afraid of being surpassed by his fellow leaders. Few leaders are dictators, they may go and will, but their leadership does not last long. And with Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, there were no such loopholes. He was a perfect leader this world has ever witnessed. Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, in his lifetime itself has formed four dynamic, dedicated, determined, and disciplined leaders who were Hazrat Abu Bakr, Hazrat Omar, Hazrat Usman, and Hazrat Ali Razilahu Anhu. I would like to put light upon the very efficient and a good leadership skills of one of the disciples of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Hazrat Omar Razialahu Anhu. He ruled about 30 countries, and I say a few names Iraq, Iran, Oman, Egypt, Syria, Jerusalem, etc. It's not easy to rule a state today, but Hazrat Omar ruled half of the world, and he was well known for doing justice to every citizen of the states he ruled. Hazrat Omar Razalahu Anu issued six instructions to all the governors of the states he rules, and the governors were answerable in case if they failed to follow them, they were terminated if they found wrong. Number one, not to wear fashionable clothes. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very lucky to have our chief minister, Mr. Arvind Krejewal, as a chief guest today. Who is following one of the instructions of Hazrat Omar Razialahu Anhu? I salute him. I appreciate if we give our chief minister a standing ovation with warm round of applause. Thank you very much. I hope our chief minister will read the biography of Hazrat Omar Razialahu Anhu to understand how he ruled half of the world and importantly did justice to every citizens. 
The six instructions of good governance issued by Hazrat Umar Rizgallahu Anha were Number one, not to wear fashionable clothes. Number second, not to eat delicious food and which means not to have a variety of food at the same time. Number third, to let the common people have easy access to the concerned people at office. Number four, to let the office function 24 hours a day. Number fifth, to attend the funeral ceremonies of the citizens of the states he ruled. Number six, to visit the people who are sick and ill. Is anybody in the world can name a leader who rules half of the world but worn torn clothes with patches on them? Is there any leader in the world who carried cans of drinking water on his shoulders for poor and widowed women? Is there any leader in the world who visited the places alone without being escorted by guards? Ladies and gentlemen, it was Hazrat Omar Raziallahu Anhu. That's why probably Mahatma Gandhi, the father of a nation, said after independence that if India seeks good governance, India should be ruled by a leader like Hazrat Omar Raziallahu Anhu. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I have not only improved my public speaking skills by attending this personality development workshop, but after listening to the lectures of my mentor, Mr. Manavar Zama, I've become a better Muslim. I've become a better human being. I've become a disciplined individual. And all the credit goes to my beloved trainer, Mr. Manavar Zama. I remember when Zama sir called me up the days for the first time, I was not even able to stand properly. I was moving here and there and out of fear. And the reason why I'm standing here today is just because of his efforts and determination. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you very much for being a, such a good supporter. Thank you very much for being a, such a good motivator. I'm blessed to have a garden and a trainer like you in my life. I would also like to thank Mr. Sirajuddin Qureshi, the president of India Islamic Cultural Center, for providing this amazing personality development workshop for the youth of North Indians for the eighth consecutive year. I wind up my speech with a special thanks to our chief guest and to all distinguished judges and to you all wonderful people for listening to me with a great patience. Have a wonderful day. Dear Chief Minister, sir, you are known across all over the India for your simplicity. If you read the biography of Hazrat Omar Rajallahu Anhu, you will inshallah be known across all over the world for your amazing leadership. I have got that book for you, sir. May I represent it to you, sir? <laughs>